Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shell Dogs to Born Bot Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News World Day. This is from Legoland Windsor. This is on the uh, refurbishment of a current attraction for next season. Now Duplo Dino Coaster isn't the only attraction for 2020. There's a big refurbishment going on down at Atlantis Submarine Voyage. Now, bit of background information for you. Atlantis Submarine Voyage opened in 2011 as a world's first attraction. Um, it was manufactured by Mack Rides. Uh, and of course, if you didn't know a bit of background on what the actual ride type is, uh, it's an underwater submarine ride that takes riders on a journey through an aquarium. Now, basically, Atlantis Submarine Voyage is currently undergoing a major refurbishment. Now, there have been photos from many UK park enthusiasts that have been down at the Christmas event recently. Um, and basically, literally just going through uh, and seeing like the whole facade's been taken down. Uh, and this, and many people you know, speculated what this is going to be. Basically, uh, it's going to be renamed and given a new uh, new version of the old Atlantis story. It will be called Lego City Deep Sea Adventure, so it will take the name of the clone attraction at Legoland California. Um, so basically, if you don't know what's happening, the outside has been completely stripped back to the basics. All of the old models, signs and theming for Atlantis has been removed. Um, ready for new facades and theming to be installed. Nothing has been officially confirmed by the park yet, apart from new banners installed on the construction fences around the attraction. The area is currently visible by the Haunted House Monster Party, Party Queue Line and the Castle Hotel Plaza. So if you want to check out the latest on the construction site, then that is the places to do it. So what are my thoughts then to this? Well, this is an attraction I've not yet done at Legoland Winter. Last time I went to Legoland Winter was 2006. Um, you know, I've still got an old photo from the old Jungle Coaster, you know, that's over in America right now. So, you know, it's been a long time since my last visit to Lego Winter. And people in the old channel have been calling me to go back to Lego Winter for so many years. So many years. And I will try and do it as soon as possible. It's just finding the time. Um, because I've got all these other projects going on and of course uni at the minute. So, you know, I've got to wait until I finish my degree and then... You know, move into this full time because uh, right now this is like this is becoming this is part this is like a 50 50 with uni. Once uni's finished, this has become full time. So, um, by the way, guys, we're almost at 1,300 subscribers, we're almost there, we're almost there. Uh, <laughs> but overall, uh, going back to Atlanta Submarine Voyage, I think Lego City Deep Sea Adventure doesn't sound like the most exciting name change, if I'm being personally honest. Um, I feel like they could have stuck with Atlantis, but just given it a new, like, not a submarine voyage, but maybe, like, uh, Atlantis, Depths of the Abyss, or just a simple new storyline. I think just keep it within its original name. Don't, like, you know, get it, you know, give a name of a, current, of a clone attraction, you know, the same name, if you know what I mean. Um, Hopefully we get some new stuff for the facade though. I think the facade hopefully should get a new fresh look. I'm hoping it's going to get a nice major refurbishment, that, that facade. Um, and I'm really praying that the park do really, really well with this. I'm hoping they do really, really well with this. And I know they're going to do well. I know they're doing well. Uh, obviously they've got the Duplo Dino coaster now. It's not called the Duplo Dream Coaster anymore. It's going to be themed like a Duplo Dino, the trains. Uh, so a last minute name change there. Uh, but I, I actually prefer that to Duplo Dream. I think Duplo Dino is brilliant because you can have some nice Duplo looking prehistoric theming to entertain the families in the queue line and around the rides. So I think that's a good move as well. Uh, but sticking back to Atlantis or shall I say now, like a city deep sea, um, deep sea adventure. Um, Another said Voyage then. I keep for I, I have to remember it's not Atlantis Submarine Voyage anymore. Um, but Lego City Deep Sea Adventure. I think will still be a good attraction. I think there won't be anything change-wise inside. I think it'll just be facade changes to, to, to cope with the brand new names. So um, hopefully we see a great new facade. Uh, hopefully we don't get like a temporary banner lo type logo and just stick it on the front of the facade or something like that. I'm hoping it's like Atlantis's logo where it's actually integrated into the outside of the building, outside the entrance to the ride, outside the queue line. Um, so I'm hoping for the best with this one. So thank you very much for watching this small theme park news update talking about Lego City Deep Sea Adventure. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and theories down below. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Child, Kill in the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.
Oh, 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 oh,